Hey, this is Dave White with Quad City Safety here to talk about outsoles. So when we talk about outsoles, it's the bottom of the shoes. And the one that we really wanted to talk about today is heat resistance. So if you're working around, let's say you're welding or you're, you're in a place where you can st step on weld spatter, maybe you're working in a foundry or a steel mill, that's places where you need to pay attention to the fact that heat can destroy the outsole. So for instance, this guy that's kind of EVA, this is a protective toe, so this is a safety shoe. However, if we were to wear this sole into that environment, it's either going to melt or it could possibly pick up metal chips and crack further. So that we extend the life of our boot with going with a sole that's rated to higher temperatures, where this one can withstand uh, roughly six, seven hundred degrees. This one, we get it past a couple hundred degrees, it's going to start melting. So again, when we're looking at what shoes we need to wear, 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 sometimes it's looking at the environments that we're in. So if you're in an environment that has metal chips, it has high heat situations, you want to pay attention to the outsole on your boot. And there's a lot of different ones to choose from. Uh, one of the ones that we carry here is through Carolina, so this is a Vibram. So, so it's a Vibram sole that's specifically manufactured for heat. But just pay attention to those when you're spending a lot of your hard-earned money on protective footwear.